So here's a couple of maps that have been making their way around the uh, flat earth universe. It's not even the right way of showing the earth. <laughs> I'm not going to go too far into this. I'm not going to make this very long. I just like to point this out. The first one is a picture of what should be a uh, new, should be New York in the summertime. Um, and it almost makes sense if you believe that the sun is a spotlight, which it's, well, which it's not. But hold on, we have to think about the rest of the year. This map was created by the same exact person saying that now in winter, as the sun is further away from the center of the map, somehow it tends to illuminate more of the map. Now the illumination of the map, well, the footprint should have moved further towards the edge, which it didn't, uh, or it did, but a very small amount. <laughs> But now over 70% of the map has now been illuminated and it seems to have jumped over a large portion of the map. And let's not forget, the amount in which it jumped over now pretty much negates the vanishing point rule to begin with. Because light's not supposed to travel that far. So basically, both of these illustrations are completely and totally absurd if they are supposed to represent a literal map of the earth and the sun and this third map i'm just doing this a little bit gratuitously uh this third map is showing what i would uh, i would assume is fall time in japan at noon not only do you see the same absurd jump of light over a large portion of the planet but according to this you should have a full moon twice a month and a lunar eclipse every month don't blame me, this is the kind of shit that you guys are selling. I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't make sense. Uh, and not only does it not make sense, it's also impossible. So, have a great day.